Blog Talk Radio. Stevie B's Media Production is a part of the Shellcaster Network. Stevie B Media Production presents Acapella Gospel Music Blast with your host, Stevie B. Playing your favorite acapella music from the world's greatest acapella artist. Sit back, relax, and listen to the sweet sound of voices. We're flying at 30,000 feet, and you're riding with Stevie B. You can call into the live show, 713-955-0508, or email us, butlersteve1009 at yahoo.com. Contact us. Let us know who's riding with Stevie B on the blast tonight. This is the Acapella Gospel Music Blast, and you're listening to Stevie B. This radio show is the 2018 nominee for the NACAMA, the National Academy of Christian Acapella Music Artists Award. This radio show is being broadcast from Stevie B Media Production at the Carolina Studio. In the great state of North Carolina, this is David B. And I'm the blaster master of acapella gospel music. And according to the late wife on the General Connor from Dayton, Ohio, she said Stevie B is the hardest working Christian DJ in the world today. May the good Lord have mercy on us, though. That was my dear sister right there. Also, I have a recent quote from Issei, Jesse Murrah from Straight Company from Louisville, Kentucky. Issei said, listen to what Issei said. He said, my radio voice, <laughs> my energy, my creativity is refreshing, and nobody does it better, because nobody's going to outwork me. That's, that's what he said, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just telling you what they said. I also have a quote from Brian Malone from Committee of Acapella Chorus from Rogersville, Alabama. Rogersville, Alabama. He says, Stevie B is the hardest working man on the radio. I have a quote from Thurman Matters from Temple, Texas. He says, Stevie B is the hardest working man in acapella Christian music. I also have a quote from the late Urban C. Jackson from Wesley Chapel, Florida. He says, Stevie B is the greatest and the hardest working man. He said, I considered you to be the lighthouse of acapella gospel music. I have a quote from Mr. Uwe himself, Dorian Paul from Houston, Texas. He says, Stevie B, we need you. We need you, Doc. Don't you go nowhere because we need you. <laughs> I have a quote from my dear brother, Jeremy Roberts from Iowa, Virginia. He says, Stevie B, is the hardest working man on the radio, period. That's what he said, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just telling you what they said. <laughs> and I will quote from my dear brother, Anthony Blunt. He's the radio host for the Gospel Train that airs on Sunday morning on 94.7 FM, WWBC 1510 AM in Rockledge, Florida. And he, uh, he, you can also catch the uh, Gospel Train on Facebook Live on Sunday morning, As well, he said the same thing during our interview on his radio show. So it must be some truth to it. And have a quote from Kenneth Ray from Made New Acapella Assemble. He's from Louisville, Kentucky. He said, Stevie B is the hardest working brother in acapella music on the ones and twos. That's what they said, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just telling you what they said. That was Quote from my, the comedian Tim Pridgen from right here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. He said, Steve, he said, this, I like this quote from Tim. He said, there are many great Stevies in the world, like Stevie Wonder that made uh, nothing but classics in the music game. But you also need to know about my guy that's killing the radio game, my guy, Stevie B. 
I have a quote from Kelly JT from Reseda, California with the acapella group Exodus 2.0. He says, Stevie B puts the A in acapella music. He says, Stevie B is awesome. He says, Stevie B is amazing. I have a quote from my dear brother, Lewis Cooper from Dizel Records in Memphis, Tennessee. He says, Stevie B is like a drink of water in the desert. <laughs> That's what he said, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just telling you what they said. I have a quote from Al Pratt. He's the founder of the Camera Awards that's held in Jacksonville, Florida every two years, but this marks the uh, 30th anniversary for those awards. And he said, Stevie B, the one and only acapella DJ, often imitated but never duplicated and considered the hardest working, I'm telling you, he's the smartest working man in acapella music. That's what he said, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just telling you what they said. <laughs> Yeah, I'm having fun tonight. And I will quote, this is the last quote I have from Ali Ezel from Fayetteville, North Carolina. He says, Stevie B is the mouth of acapella gospel music. I like that. Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. All right, let me get this big iron bird on up off the ground. I rubbed my two little coins together and bought me an airplane. the blaster master unless you're dropping bombs on your radio show. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Ladies and gentlemen, we are taking back Friday nights for the Lord. Oh, yes, we are. For the next two hours, I'm going to play some of your favorite Acapella Gospel songs from such artists as Straight Company, Dorian Paul, Commit Acapella Cars, and many, many more. I want to hear from our listeners tonight. You can give me a call to the live show at 713-955-0508. Or you can go to the Blog Talk Radio website and listen to the live show there, and you'll find this show on page four of that website. There are over 1,800 shows that are live right now on Blog Talk Radio, and you will find my show tonight on page four. I just looked at the website. That's where you will find it. All right? And... You could also send me an email if you just want to let me know who's riding with me on the blast tonight. Just send your emails to butlersteve1009 at yahoo.com. Or you can call into the live show if you want to holler at me while I'm on the air, 713-955-0508. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to lift up your spirits with these inspirational songs on a Friday night. And Stevie B is playing acapella gospel music. So turn up. Your spiritual ear. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. At the bottom of the hour, I'll be featuring my song. We want to feature a song, tell you a little bit about the artist. And this song will get two plays on the show tonight. And I'll be dedicating this feature to my dear sister and friend, the late Linda Dilly from Tulsa, Oklahoma. We just want to keep her memory alive on this radio show. We'll also be featuring on the broadcast my funny bones. You know, I love those comedians because laughter is good. For the soul. We'll be featuring two comedians on the show tonight. Also during the broadcast, I'll be featuring my shout outs. Now, these are just some people I've been in contact with, whether it be here on social media. Now, I'm not on Facebook. I'm no longer on Facebook, so I'm using the other apps, uh, Instagram, Twitter, is where I'm getting the people from that I'm coming in contact with now. On, so when I say social media, I'm excluding Facebook. All right, but I am meeting folk in my local area here right outside of Fort Bragg, North Carolina, who are listening to this radio show, and they just love acapella gospel music. And I've actually been meeting people who never even heard 
acapella gospel music. So it's just a thrill for me just to be able to introduce them to this great music that we get to enjoy here on The Blast on our Friday night. So I just want to show them some love and let them know how much I appreciate their love and support for this radio show. And I also have a new feature on the broadcast, my monthly triple spin. And for the month of October, I will be featuring, who will I be featuring for the month? Oh, this is still September. What I'm talking about. This is the last, uh, the last day of September, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this is the last show from September. I've been featuring my man George G. Uh, for the month of September, I, he's been. I've been playing three of his singles for every show for the month of September. Yeah, George G. And I also have a feature on the show, my O One Hundred, and I'll be dedicating that feature to my dear sister and friend, the late. Why, Vaughn, the General Connor from Dayton, Ohio, she said, Stevie B, you got to play something for the old folk. <laughs> so I considered what she said. Of course, she was right. So I came up with a feature called My Old 100. And uh, she was there with me from the beginning of these radio shows. And I really do miss her. So we just want to keep her memory alive on this radio show. So you got Stevie B, the Blaster Master, loose in the boom. On the ones and twos. So let's get into the music, the sweet sounds of voices. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Ladies and gentlemen, as I go through the show tonight, I'll be announcing uh, the previous interviews I've done with the various acapella artists and producers and comedians as well as that I've interviewed on these radio shows in the past few years. And I'll tell you what episodes they appeared on as I go through my playlist tonight. So you can go back and listen to those uh, on-demand episodes on the various musical platforms, wherever you're getting your favorite podcast from. Just search for Stevie B Media Production, or you can just put in Stevie B and just see what pops up. And you should be my show should pop up, and you can go to the various platforms uh, on Spotify, uh, Apple, iTunes, Amazon Music, just to name YouTube, just to name a few. There's just so many of them out there, so I just try to give you the main uh, platforms that have been around a little while. And I also have recorded version shows that I did, and that's of the live shows here on Block Talk Radio. And I also tell you what episodes those recorded version shows appeared on as well. And if you never heard any of my recorded version shows, all that is I, I, is a recording of the live show. I recorded the live show all over again. I took my voice out of the show. Now, some people say it's a blessing. I don't know. But that's just what they say. Um, but the sound quality, it, sound quality is excellent. It's in beta hi-fi, so you'll love what you're hearing from my recorded version shows. Now, these recorded version shows can only be heard on iHeartRadio, on Deezer, and also on Amazon music just search for stevie b recorded versions all right yeah stevie b's acapella gospel music blast on the show tonight my special guest is george g from west palm beach florida we try to bring george on the show every fourth friday of the month so he can debut some new music he's just got so much music that he has that's never been aired on the radio so we just really enjoy uh talking to george g on the broadcast and hearing some of his new music on the show and on October the 7th, uh, let's see, my special guest is the Lamplighters from Mount Bayou, Mississippi. And on October the 21st, uh, my special guest is Corey Felton from Pensacola, Florida. And this is Mr. Radio Joe Felton's son. That They are members of the acapella group, the new Faithful Few out of Pensacola, Florida. And on October the 28th, my special guest is George G. again. We, like I said, we try to bring him on the show every fourth Friday of the month. And then on November the 11th, my special guest is Vision from Houston, Texas. They have a 2019 album, While I'm Still Young. Looking forward to having them on the show. And on November the 18th, uh, I won't have a show on November the 18th because I'll be traveling uh, that weekend. That's the uh, weekend that the Experience Acapella Tour kicks off. Uh, the Chef Table, uh, Take Note, and Diesel Record production kick off in Atlanta, Georgia. And there'll be two shows at the Mode X studio there in the Buckhead area of Atlanta off of Peachtree Road there in Atlanta, Georgia. The headliners of that tour is Anthony Tony Carter from Chicago, Chi-Town, and the queen of the tour, Nisa Cooper from Memphis, Tennessee, and Rain, realizing an innate need from Central Florida, uh, and yours truly, the Master Blaster, from right here in the state of North Carolina, I'll be emceeing the tour. The remaining cities and dates will be announced. Uh, Atlanta, Georgia, I don't have dates for those yet. Pompano Beach, Florida, Los Angeles, California, Fayetteville, North Carolina, 
right here in uh, Memphis, Tennessee as well, Houston, Texas, Phoenix, Arizona, and the state of Mississippi. That's the, Those are the places where we plan on going for this tour. And once I get the dates for those other cities, I will announce those dates. Now, on uh, November the 24th through the 27th, that'll be Thanksgiving weekend, the 2022 Christian Acapella Music Festival and Awards will be held at the Hyatt Regency uh, there, Jacksonville Riverfront Hotel. That address is 225 East Coastline Drive, Jacksonville, Florida. And that's zip code 32202. Now, I'm going to try to make this uh, uh, the Camel Awards Thanksgiving weekend. That'll be the week before I get back from Atlanta. So that, same, that next week, we'll be trying to get down there to the, uh, the Camel Awards as well. So I got a busy month ahead of me in november so pray for me pray for me pray for me uh, and december the second my special guest is so purpose looking forward to having them on the show december the ninth we'll be closing out the year my special guest the acapella group one accord a lot going on for the next few months in 2022 so who's on the playlist tonight we have some new singles from the headliners of the experience acapella tour lewis cooper from the Zell Records, Memphis, Tennessee. Straight Company from Louisville, Kentucky. Joyce G from West Palm Beach, Florida. Cornelius the Strong Evers from Galveston, Texas. Terry Mormaze from Mario Valley, California. Monte Cuba from Houston, Texas. Kenya Shelley from Clover, California. And Sheila Kakaris out of Houston, Texas. And many, many more. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Enjoy the ride, ladies and gentlemen. On the blast tonight. Stevie B is on the air. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. You're in the mix with Stevie B, the blast and master of acapella gospel music. Kicking off the show tonight, I have a double play. Kenya Shelley from Clover, California. She has a new single entitled Just Let Go. You're going to love this song. We did an exclusive interview with Kenya and her producer, Cornell Clark, on this broadcast. Episode 260, if you didn't get a chance to catch that show. And this song features Nuff Said. You're going to love this song. And that'll be followed by my, with my man, Monte Cuba from Houston, Texas. He has a new single entitled Learning from his 2020 album, Learning. and we debuted that album here on this broadcast, episode 190. Enjoy this double play, kicking off the show, Kenya Shelley and Monte Cuba. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. Enjoy the show. Just let go and let God. Just let go and let God. Just let go and let God. He'll show you. Just let go and let God. Just let go. Let go and let him lead you Thinking you should find he can feed you Fighting all these demons He the only one that's gonna believe you Yeah, I really wanna let go Should've rolled with you from the get-go I need help trying to let him know I need help trying to get my flow Screw faith, got two faces So my soul split in two places Fighting each other like two races Got enough sin for two graces God tell me where they don't know Either don't care or they don't show They got me in a chokehold so I probably need to let go.
to believe in I keep fighting all these battles But they all belong to you What do I do? Help me through Get to you, 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 you Hey, let go, let God, I'm about to I was about to sing right before I found you Looking at this pit, my re, I said not you Then I realized that I can't live without you It's painful without you I can't go without you I let go cause I got you I'm so thankful about you Just let go Let go
Shout out to Sephandra McNeil. She lives in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Sephandra McNeil, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Peace and love, everyone. This is your girl, Genesis Archer from Jacksonville, Florida. And you're listening in to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is Tony Carter from the Chicagoland area. And if you are looking for God to give you a song to sing like Jesus, then you tuned in to the right place. You're listening to Stevie B on the Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Pumalone. And you're listening to the acapella gospel music black with Stevie B. Hey. Oh, yeah. On tonight's show, my special guest is George G from West Palm Beach, Florida. He'll be debuting some new singles on the show tonight after my song. Of the week. Coming up next, I got a double play coming your way. The late Johnny Wilder Jr. from Dayton, Ohio. His single, I'll Do It, from his 1988 album, My Goal. That'll be followed by my man, Lewis Cooper, from Memphis, Tennessee, of Dazelle Records. He has a new single, God is Good. And you're going to love this song. We debuted that uh, single on this broadcast on last Friday night show. Lewis rode with me on the whole show. He took over my show last week. If you didn't get a chance to hear that show, he's also going to be working with us on the Experience Soccer Fellow Tour. 2022. Enjoy this double play the late Johnny Wilder Jr. and Lewis Cooper. You got Stevie B on the ones and two. Ha! 
walking through our father's world. Make a decision. Make up your mind as who you want to serve. What's in the eyes? Does he want something that you cannot give? Out of the city. Only the Lord can show us how to live. Get on up. But you might not like it. Get on up. That's 
way it is. Get on up. God gave you yours. Get on up. Come on, give him his. Get on up. I, get, up. Uh, get on up. Get on up. Get up. Get on up. Come on, get up. Get on up. Get up. Get on up. Come on and clap your hands. Get on up. Come on and clap your hands. Get on up. Come on and clap your hands. Get on up. If you know you can. Get on up. I want to give a shout out to Whitney Washington. She works at the Walmart here in Hope Mills, North Carolina. She lives in Hope Mills. Whitney Washington, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Flash. I'm Lasagna Carter Charleston, and I sing with Truly Blessed out of Atlanta, Georgia. You're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. What's going on, everybody? This is Mario McKinnon coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Y'all keep listening. For everything he's done, I got to praise the Lord. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone. And you're listening to the acapella gospel music blast with Stevie B. On the show tonight, my special guest after the song of the week is George G. from West Palm Beach, Florida. He'll be debuting some new music here on the broadcast tonight. Depending on the ones and twos, it's Stevie B, the Blast of Massa of Acapella Gospel Music. Good day, family. It's your boy, George G, a.k.a. George G International, G-G-I-G to the double E. You're listening to the phenomenal sounds of acapella gospel music blast where the bass note bumps and the E note jumps and the sopranos and the altos and the tenors make you sway. Oh, yeah, it's a head knocker, baby, and a rock and cheer rocker acapella gospel music blast, your host. Stevie B, spinning the voices that soothe the soul, flying at 30,000 feet, not missing a beat. Acapella, gospel, music blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Song of the Week. We'll be dedicating this feature to my dear sister and friend, the late Linda Dilly from Tulsa, Oklahoma. She was a member of my staff here at Stevie B's Media Production from the year 2016 to June of 2021. She wrote all the questions for the artists that we interviewed on this radio show, and we just want to keep her memory alive on this radio broadcast. Stevie B's Song of the Week. This week, we'll be featuring Cornelius the Strong Edwards from Galveston, Texas. We did two exclusive interviews with Cornelius on this broadcast, episode number 11 and episode 184. Now, it was on episode number 11 that my dear friend, the late Wanda General Connor, called into that show and got a chance to talk to Cornelius. That was a great show. Really enjoyed uh, hearing her on that broadcast. And we have a new single from Cornelius entitled Washed by the Blood of Jesus. You're going to love my song of the week. Stevie B's Song of the Week. Washed by the blood of Jesus. Washed by the blood of Jesus. Say hey. 
Hey, man, we riding pretty good, even though Ian is gone on up the coast. You know, yeah, he, we weathered the storm. We weathered the hurricane, my friend. Yeah, that's good to hear, man. Now, now he's bothering us. <laughs> up here in the Carolinas. Yeah, I was going to ask you, is, is he up there rumbling around? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he headed this way. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, well, all I can say is hunker down and, uh, hey, you know, we really, really got to pray. You know, we're living in the time and the season. Uh, the sun may be shining, but it's it's dark in the world, you know, yes, everywhere. Yeah, people man. got people... People got beautiful houses, cars, bills paid, and but their city is destroyed tonight. Destroyed, they, yeah, devastated, yeah, man. City. Yeah, devastated. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've never seen anything like it. Never seen anything like it. Yeah. Just let us know that it's praying time. I love that one song you played by Johnny Wilder. I'm on that album singing background. Now, I was going to ask you that, too. I was going to ask you what yeah. you on that album. Yeah, because Straight Company did the backup to that, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All hey, that we, my uh, Jesus asked of me, I do. Yes, sir. Before we get uh, into your new singles, I want you to go ahead and introduce yourself uh, to our listeners for those who may not be familiar with you. Oh, man, I just took the assumption that everybody know a little OG, man. We might have some new listeners on the air tonight on listening I, to the show. I, I understand. Well, I am uh, I am uh, George G., um, uh, Brother George G., and uh, I currently live in uh, West Palm Beach, Florida, just relocated down here, and uh, we've weathered the storm. Uh, just a little bit of my background. I've been in the music industry for over 30 years. Now, that's the music industry. I'm a member of the Body of Christ, the Church of Christ, and uh, I grew up singing a cappella music, but for some of you who may not know me, I am in the music industry. I make music. However, when I worship the Lord, I sing it a cappella. And if your head want to knock and you want to pat your feet and clap your hands, you can go ahead and do that. I'm also a gospel preacher. been preaching for about 34 years, and uh, I'm currently uh, in West Palm Beach. Uh, myself and my senior minister, Franklin Florence, we have launched the uh, Rivera Beach Church of Christ in Rivera Beach, Florida, and we are truly excited about what the Lord is doing um, in this season. I could tell a little bit more, but I just think I'll stop right there. Now, the area where your congregation is, was it affected by the hurricane? Uh, no, uh, it was not. Well, we were only affected in the sense of a lot of wind and rain and light flooding we were fortunate to be on the uh, on the east side of uh, of the state, and so we just kind of got the, uh, the the end of the storm as the eye wall was passing through. So we were out of power uh, for a few hours, but uh, other than that, um, we we're, we're doing okay. We didn't get it as we didn't get it as bad as uh, other parts of the state, but but we're praying for everybody over here. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, it was something else I want. Oh, oh, George, I wanted to tell you. You know, I posted yes, your um, your advertisement for the show. Uh, was it yesterday okay. or the day before yesterday? And I All tell right. you, uh, George, you you got quite a following, brother. I got, I've had people uh, notifying me, texting me. Is George G going to be on the show Friday night? George G coming to the show? Hey. Like, I'm hey. like, y'all know about hey. George G, huh? <laughs> hey, I've been at this. I've been at this a long time. I've been singing. Uh, I've been singing since I was a little boy, uh, you know, especially uh, uh, in the Lord's Church. And I've been fortunate to be with uh, musical organizations such as Acapella Ministry. I sang uh, with Acapella Vocal Band for a few years. And then I sang for uh, the phenomenal group called Straight Company. Uh, mm-hmm. For about 19 to 20 years, and we have sold. Uh, I've we have. I've, I've been sold probably over 10 million records 
10 wow. million it, and and counting. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty much known throughout uh, the Lord's Church, I think, and then in other parts of uh, of uh, of you know of religious matters as it relates to gospel singing and, and music industry things. Now, oh I yeah, been, I've been on, a long time. I saw something on Instagram earlier today. Mm-hmm. Uh, Straight Company yes, had a post. Did you see that what Straight Company has a post? And I seen you on that post that they were singing very different songs, little clips of different yeah. songs. And and I saw mm-hmm. you on uh that post then. Well, look at George G back there in the corner. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm on that post and uh I'm I'm I was very fortunate. I was very fortunate to uh to sing uh with Straight Company and uh Lord willing I think we're gonna do some uh some and spot dates around the, the country that is that's still gearing up and and being put in place. Uh, uh, Jesse Marai, the group leader, phenomenal writer, just um, uh, just awesome in the in the lyrics that that he's written over the years, and and we've been fortunate to just truly bless a lot of people. Bless a lot of people. Jesse's been sick, but he's doing very well. You know, just we're just real excited that God has healed his body and he's just uh, he's doing very well. Yeah. Yeah, I talked I talked to Jesse uh last week. Yeah. Well good. Now, awesome. Wonderful. Now did you now did you know that it was Jesse that gave me that name, the Blaster Master? Yeah, yeah. I, I heard you mention that. that. Well he'll give you a name. That's 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 his thing. <laughs> yeah, he'll give you a name. He, yeah, he gave he gave me my name. He calls me G Rock. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's my name in the G Rock. That's my name in the straight company organization. Yeah. George yeah. G G Rock. That's who I am. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh man, he'll give you a new name in a minute. Yes, he will. But, but, but see when but see when he gave me that name, the Blaster Master, he didn't know yes, the story sir. behind that. He didn't know the story behind that name when he gave it to me. Oh wow! Okay, see, there, was a, okay. there was a story behind that name. Wow. I'm, I'm gonna tell. I, I'm gonna tell. The, I'm gonna tell the story. I didn't plan on doing this tonight, but I'm gonna tell the story. Don't tell the story, Doc. Tell your tell your story. Even <laughs> <laughs> be tell your story. <laughs> When now when Straight Company, I did a marathon show for Straight Company uh, a few years okay. ago, and it All was right. on that show that I had told. Now when Jesse gave me that name at the time, he told me that I didn't say anything right. to him at that time. But it was mm-hmm. a few years later that I did a, a marathon show for Straight Company, and that's when I told the story to Jesse and the other members of Straight Company that was on that show. That's when I okay. told them okay. what had, what the story behind that name was. When I was nine right. years old, when I was nine years old, Stevie Wonder had an album called The Blaster Master. You remember that? In the 1970s? I do. Uh, he, had yeah, Blaster, yeah, he, he had a Blaster yeah. Master album. And when yes, I was sir. nine years old, George, when I was nine years old, I had an army okay. khaki jacket and I had <laughs> drew some sergeant sleeves on the stripes. Wow. And I had drew some uh, army ribbons on my chest. And on the back of that jacket, I had written the Blaster Master Tater Bug. <laughs> the Blaster Master Tater Bug. <laughs> I was nine years I old, been. George, when I did that. And That's since, a blessing. And since then, I went on to join the military, and I retired from the military 20 years in the military. That was 20 years ago. I did that. Awesome. Right. Thank you, for your, now, thank you for your service. What a blessing. Yeah, thank you, brother. Thank you. So so when so when E says call me that on the phone that night, yeah. Man, he blew my mind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey. He blew he he took hey. me back to my childhood when he did that. Hey, I tell you I tell you what, you know, uh E says Jesse Mariah, he is perhaps one of the most uh anointed men of god uh writing music uh today particularly in the in the Lord's church he he got certain phrases and songs that i love like there's one song called i promise and i just love this phrase it's a phrase he wrote he says he says g 
think we need to have a cup of more grace and a bowl of more commitment. And whatever you do, don't go hungry while you're witnessing. You know, just mm. little phrases like that, man. So yeah. I'm just I'm just not surprised that that he called you the master blaster. He was there. He was dead on point with uh, uh with your destiny, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. sir. What so we question. just trying to do our thing on a Friday night, brother. Hey, man, you know, I remember on a Friday night, we was in other spots doing our thing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, look, look, yeah. look at what the Lord has done for us. Here we are on a Friday yeah. night. We're enjoying, uh, yeah. we're enjoying some good uh acapella music and uh, from the various artists throughout the church. And I tell you, Stevie B, man, I'm listening to some of this talent. It is just enjoyable, man. I'm, yeah, man. I'm here. Yeah. I'm here to flavor that I really, really, really like. So, hey, I'm just yeah. going to get this plug. And if there's any artists out there that you want to work with G-Rock, I got plenty of songs. I got enough songs till Jesus come, beloved. Y'all better come know, get these right. here. Better come to these hits. I got. Now did I now did I tell you did I tell you what I told Wanda Tucker Waller about you? You you told you told me that you had spoke to Wanda, uh, but I haven't I haven't heard from her. But I tell you what, I got a song for her. I got a song for her, and that's that's not only it. Yeah, I got tell her I got a song for her. Now now hopefully (laughs) now she she was. She was with us when we was in Birmingham, uh, at the okay. Apple Experience Tour in Birmingham. Her and her family sung oh, on that concert. So hopefully, I think okay. she's going to be in Atlanta too when we go to Atlanta in November. Uh, I think she, and awesome. if she's there, I'll see if she would get a hold of you and let her know that you really want to get in contact with. Because I did tell her uh, what you had said. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah. We got two singles now from George G. We want to debut on the broadcast. That's why we have George G. on the show every fourth Friday of the month. George G. sitting on a ton of music, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he man. has over a hundred songs <laughs> that's never been aired yeah, on that's the radio. Right. <laughs> that's right. So we try to bring George G. on the show every fourth Friday of the month to air some of the music that he has just to expose our listeners to some good acapella gospel music. This brother is very talented, so you're going to love what you're hearing from George G. Now, tell us about these two singles uh, that we'll be hearing tonight, Around God's Throne and In Thee I Trust. Did you write these In the, I, I wrote both of these songs uh, along with uh, uh, In the I Trust. Uh, Robert wrote that one with Robert uh, Darby over there in Chattanooga, uh, Tennessee. Uh, okay. Around God's throne, you know, you know, uh, Stevie B. One fourth of the earth passed away during COVID, uh, mm-hmm. during the, the start of the start of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And uh, Stevie B., I've lost a few of my friends. You know, we've lost right. we lost um, we lost Mark a few weeks ago, uh, right. Mark Thompson up in Detroit, and then a, another friend of mine. Uh, he died. Three days ago, Dennis Caesar, mm-hmm. and he's he's from Delray, Florida, gospel preacher, and uh, and you know, I it's the around God's throne is just is just uh, it's just an anthem that's saying, hey, you know, we didn't come here to stay, and I'll meet you at the celebration Amen. around God's throne. Um, that's I'll meet you but now. That in uh, and that in thee I trust, you know. Uh, I remember a time, and I'm gonna make this quick, and I get out of here. And I, oh, I remember a time. I remember a time when I was over in in uh, Houston, <laughs> Texas, in Houston, Texas, living in my beautiful, luxurious home. My backyard was a. I had a lake for my backyard. I mm. remember. Uh, I remember all my bills was paid. I had all my creature comforts and all my stuff, junk, and things. And a snowstorm came through. Mm. Knock my power out for eight days. Mm. And eight days I sat in the dark and it was cold in that house. Mm. And I couldn't do nothing but look up to the Lord and say, In thee I trust, O Lord. Same thing over mm-hmm. here. 
with this Amen. hurricane. <laughs> Same mm-hmm. thing. And so we just have to trust in the Lord. And we have to trust in the Lord. We have to humble ourselves. We have to pray. We have to seek God's face. And we got to turn from some things we're doing to make you the, uh, the frustrating you know, George, the Lord. I was, I was thinking, man, because of the pandemic and uh, the hurricanes, everything that's been going on, Psalms 23 yes, just sir. has a whole new meaning for me now. And David said, when David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, my I will fear no evil, for thou art my with me, thy rod and yeah. thy staff comfort me. Mm-hmm. It just has yes, a whole sir. new meaning. It has a whole new meaning. Because we are Absolutely. experiencing these times. We are living in these Absolutely. times. These are biblical Absolutely. times that we are living in catastrophes that are happening here. With, with the pandemic and everything, it's just uh, you, you got to find your comfort, you got to find your peace in the Lord. You better find it, yes, sir. You, yes, find sir. It. I, you, if you ain't got it, you yes, better find it. TVB, I, I saw something, and you let me know when you're ready to play the song so you know I can talk to you <laughs> now. So, listen, TVB, I saw the uh, I, I watched the weatherman say today, he said, There's a ray of hope. Back there, he said, there's a rainbow in the sky. And when they showed us the rainbow in the sky, I just I just remembered what God said. God said, I'm going to put this rainbow here as a covenant between mm-hmm. me and the earth. So right. when I see this rainbow, I won't mm-hmm. flood you out. <laughs> right. Now, you know, a lot, right. of, a lot of people see that rainbow and they go, ooh, look at the rainbow. But they're not recognizing and realizing that the Lord really That's made right. me upset that day. That's right. That's right. <laughs> he he might be upset when we see right. that rainbow. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah. Stevie B, that, that's that's all I got, Stevie B. Okay. That's, that's all. I all got. right. Yeah. Hey, I always have. I always love having you on the show, man. Cause I always enjoy talking to you. You have to I have to rein in sometimes. Sometimes sometime we have to loose, let George loose, and let him go. <laughs> Hey man, hey! I appreciate it, Stevie B. Thank you so much, man. We just, I just really appreciate uh, what you do, and I know all the other various artists appreciate uh, what what you do. And I just like to say uh, to the various people out there listening, hey, let's let's get Stevie B moving around the world. Let's get him playing over in Africa. Let's get him playing over. Uh, um, in uh, Saudi Arabia, let's get him playing over there in Egypt. Oh, y'all didn't, y'all didn't see me coming like this, did you? Let's get him playing all over the world. We living in the last days, beloved. Come on. You know what? You know what, George G? Yes, sir. You know what? Blog What's Talk that, Radio. Man? Blog Talk Radio. They show me where this show is being played. They have all a right. map. They have a map for me. They have a colored map that they show me okay. where my shows are being played. That's wonderful, these, sir. These shows are being played in Africa, in Europe, in Canada. Man, wonderful. Hey, man, South that's, America. That's, there you go. There you, know, you go. Well, this well, thing well, is well, on well, a global well. scale. It's already on a global scale. Well, that is a blessing, sir. That is a blessing yeah. to know and a blessing and a blessing to hear. So uh, all I can say is all you artists out there, uh, let's make sure that we just make good music and send it over to CBB, the acapella gospel music blast. Amen. And I'll tell you one more thing too, George D, that I found out that I didn't realize. That I did not realize. You know, Blog Talk Radio has a website, and I've not been on the air since 2016, but I was never talking about the website. Only thing I was right. doing was telling people about the phone number to call in to listen to the show. And I was, when I was yeah. on Facebook, I was putting the link out there to the show. But I didn't say nothing about the website because I didn't know nothing about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. But what I, well, but what I know, found out, what I found out yeah. a few weeks ago, I went uh-huh. to the website. And as I'm on the air tonight, I looked at it before I came on the air. On that website, uh-huh. there's over 1,800 shows that are on the air right now. As I'm on the air, All right. I'm competing. I'm competing with 1,800 other shows at this hour. Okay. And I and I found my show on page four of that website. 
Look at God. I, and it's only at 10 shows per page on Look that website. You and you in the and this team. show is on number. <laughs> this show is on number four. Now, a few yeah. weeks ago, when I went to the website on a Friday night, actually mm-hmm. that was last week's show. The okay. this show was on page number one, and it had a big picture. It, you know, it's got all the pictures of the shows on the website, but my picture was okay. the biggest picture on the page. Hey, the Lord's gonna get his business done. Yeah, Laura's gonna get his, he's gonna get his business done, Stevie B. Amen. And, and, that, and that was and that yeah. was on page one. That was the first page wow. of that website. And that's something. What a blessing! What a yeah. distinguishable blessing! Now Amen I don't know what the, I don't know what the criteria is for them doing that, but I because I never even yeah. paid attention to the website. Well, the criteria you know? is this. The criteria is this. Go ye therefore into all the world. <laughs> right. That's right. The, that's the criteria. Yeah. Teach and yeah. preach this gospel. That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Into all into all ethnos. Into mm-hmm. all disciplines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on the radio. Go on the television. Yeah. Go on blog talk radio. Radio. At blog home. talk radio. Yeah, so yeah, so we're just idea. we're grateful, man. We're just thankful and grateful for the blessings of God that we're able to do what we're doing because we have Absolutely. some great artists. We have some great music. You don't have to like me, but you can't deny the music. <laughs> Stevie B, let me tell you something. We love you, Stevie B. Oh. That's, it. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, Stevie B. We, we all love us some Stevie B. That's for real. So you don't have to worry about that one at all, Doc. Uh, yeah, I appreciate that, any, any, I anybody appreciate that don't love Stevie B gonna have some serious gate trouble, Doc. It's all <laughs> gate, gate trouble, Doc. They're gonna have, they have gate trouble, Doc. Doc, you doing? Know listen, that's man, right. you you doing? You doing the Lord's work? You're 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 promoting gospel preachers. And you're promoting uh, you're promoting singers and and things of that nature. And most of all, you're promoting the Lord's church. And uh, and for that and for that God has a responsibility uh, to make sure that you are blessed and beloved and loved by all. Amen. You know, that, that George G, don't, don't love make me, hey George G, don't make me cry tonight. Don't you make me cry tonight? <laughs> well, you know, I, I'm not trying to do that, Doc. We'll let the music do that, Doc. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, George, yeah, we'll thank you so music. much, brother, for riding with us on the blast, man. You know we appreciate you, brother. Likewise, Stevie B. God bless you, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is George G from West Palm Beach, Florida. We got two new two of his new singles here, Around God's Throne and In D I Trust. You're gonna love these two singles. Thank you, brother, for riding with us on the blast tonight and sharing your music with us. Certainly appreciate it. Bless you. Bless you. George G, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy these two singles. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. Hey, yeah, you come here. I want you to go somewhere with me. Uh, celebrate good times. Come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah. Celebrate good times. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All of God's children will be there. We're going to have a good time. Come on, around God's throne. Mm-hmm. Listen to me, I'll meet you at the celebration around God's throne. Having a party, God's throne. Yes, we will. I will meet you at the celebration around God's throne. God's throne. All of God's children. Thank you, Lord. Well done. Well done. 
we got ninety two more songs to go, George G. <laughs> See, I don't see. see I don't want to hear ninety two of my songs, man. We gonna get some. We gonna get some. We gonna get some other folk flash. We gonna, I got some song, I got some music with some other artists. I definitely want to get to you that I produced. So okay. I'm real excited about that. Is that uh? Is is, is that my girl uh, Michelle? Yeah, that's Michelle Marco from Fort Lauderdale. You can't call nobody. <laughs> you well, can't. Go- you can't call nobody. Well, I'm glad. I, I'm glad I'm able to get folk together. I'm glad I can get yeah. folk together. Yeah, me and you, me and you gonna have a special moment right here on the blast. Okay. <laughs> I'm just picking on. I'm just well, picking on you, lovely. I will say this. Everyone should visit George's website that we designed for him. It's George and then the letter G dot live. George, then G. George G dot L I V E. George, I did want to give you a message. Hey, George, I did want to give you a message that I got from some of your fans. I got some text messages from your fans to just let you know how much they appreciate you and that they love you and they just love George G. Hey, we ain't got nothing but love for everybody in the kingdom as well, sir. Nothing but love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Yes, sir. Now, George, do you know? Do you know? Do you know Vardinia? Who? Uh, Michelle's. That's my friend, Vardinia. That's Michelle's mother. As to Michelle's mama, I yeah. don't know her. Doc, I don't know her direct, but I I, I heard about her. I heard about uh, her. You heard about her? <laughs> I heard about her. I heard about her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about her. That's my friend <laughs> right yeah. there, Vardinia. <laughs> Talking about <Dina. laughs> I just I, I, I like that. Name. We need to hey, we need to write a song about that. That just yeah. that name alone. Yeah, my Dina. Dina. Oh, yeah, I, I love it. Please don't get me started. I told I told her we don't make her name famous. We don't make her name famous. You gonna have people naming yeah, their babies yeah, after yeah. my Dina. No Vardinia. What about Vardinia? Yeah, that's my friend right there. I'm going to get down to Fort Lauderdale. Lord say so. When we come down to Pompano Beach, Florida, Vardinia and uh, Michelle is coming to the concert when we come down there. So I'm looking forward to meeting them. Definitely. I'm looking forward to hey, meeting them. Hey, I'll be there. I'll be there too. So when, uh, when, when are y'all coming to Pompano? I don't have a date yet. For that concert, I don't have a date yet, but once I get it, I'll announce it. Okay. Now, Vidania oh, promised. Now, Vidania promised that she wasn't gonna be wearing that church hat. She promised she wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, let Vidania wear her hat. Because I'm gonna shout. I'm gonna shout out. I'm gonna tell her to stand up so everybody can see her. Vidania, stand up so everybody can see who Vidania is. <laughs> <laughs> now see there, we gonna be look, we gonna be looking for that hat. <laughs> we, gonna be, we gonna be looking for that hat. My mom said you never find a hat on her head. Uh, <laughs> see, oh, we, we see the most distinguishable hat in the building. We gonna know that's my thing. My thing. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Hey guys, thank you all for riding with us on the blast tonight. What a show! What Thank a show! You. What a show! God bless you, <laughs> All right, guys. All right, Love y'all you, take Michelle. care. God bless. Yeah, bye, Dina. God bless. Love you, bye, Dina. Right. Love you, bye, Dina. <laughs> <laughs> Hey y'all, this is Stephanie Booker Wilson of Stephanie Sings Vocal Studio, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Boom, boom, baby. I needed you to reach out and take my hand and guide me, Lord. Guide me, Lord. Guide me, Lord. Guide me, Lord. Hi, this is Jeremy Roberts. <laughs> this is your girl, Tony Washington from Journey Acapella. <laughs> this is Janice Emerson Nashville.
Acapella Gospel Music Black with Stevie B. Coming up next, I got a single play coming your way. Vision from Houston, Texas. They have a single favor. I just love this song from their 2019 album, While I'm Still Young. Now, Vision is going to be my special guest on November the 11th. So looking forward to having them on the broadcast. And Vision was also the recipient for the 2018 Nakama Contemporary Artist of the Year. And this song, Favor, is number four on my top 20 countdown show for the month of July. We did not do a show in August and September. Enjoy this single play by Vision. You guys, Stevie B on the ones and twos. Each morning is a gift. Do your best to make the most of it. Maybe a smile or a kind deed. Helping someone who is in need. Can you imagine what we could do if you help me and I help you too? It would be like water to a thirsty soul. And every day we'd make beautiful. Whoa.
Hello out there. This is Janice Emerson, Nashville, Tennessee, former directress of Praise Unlimited. If you want to hear the latest and you want to hear the greatest, keep your station locked in to Stevie B. country i just finished performing uh in africa which was fun east africa to be exact a little small town called um detroit so, <laughs> i love detroit i got hit by a car there so i was able to make a little extra money on the side <laughs> Because as soon as I got hit, I started rolling on the ground, holding my neck, screaming like my mama told me. <laughs> I can't see. Is my Lexus okay? <laughs> the guy that hit me looked down. You don't have a Lexus. I looked up. I do now. Because <laughs> I need money. I have bill collectors after me as I speak. I got so many bill collectors after me. When they come to my house, they carpool. I hate bill collectors always calling me up trying to get their money back. I'm like, hey, man, let's remember, you pre-approved me. <laughs> I knew I didn't have any money. <laughs> they always call to my house. My speaking Anthony Griffith, he's not in. When you expect him back, as soon as you hang up. <laughs> And their latest technique, they like to leave messages on your answer machine like they're your friend. I check my machine, I hear, Griff, what's up? Give a brother a call, man, I'm trying to hook up with you. I'm at 1-800. <laughs> and I'm born and raised from Chicago. I love Chicago. Except New Year's Eve, because Chicagoans like to bring in the new year by shooting their guns off in each other's houses. <laughs> I was at my grandmother's house one year for New Year's Eve. I counted 20 bullet holes in her window. Ten from my grandmother shooting back. <laughs> I see behind that station wagon. Come on down and celebrate. Come on. <laughs> my grandmother will cap you in a minute. <laughs> and she's retired now, so that's all she lives for. <laughs> And our eyesight has gotten bad over the years, so she always thinks someone's trying to break in the house every five minutes. I see a shadow. Put the gun down. <laughs> but I see a shadow, baby. I know you do. You got cataracts. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forget. Well, cataracts and no cataracts, you still got to protect yourself. 
like my late husband always said. Um, <laughs> what do you always say? <laughs> well, whatever it was, he always said it. I miss him. We did everything together. We was married for, uh, let's see, uh, Lincoln freed the slaves in 1864. <laughs> Uncle Cephas met his second cousin in 1912. Chubby Checker came out with a twist and said, we was married for two years. <laughs> That's the only way my grandmother can remember anything. She always has to start with the emancipation of the slaves. It could be simple things like going to the grocery store. Grandma, you need anything at the grocery store? Do I need anything? Do I need anything? Um, uh, let me see. Uh, Lincoln free the slave. 1864. <laughs> Chubby it came out with the twist. I went to the grocery store on Wednesday. No, I'm good. Stevie B's Funny Bones. <laughs> This is your captain speaking. I hope you're enjoying the flight tonight on the blast. I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. We're flying 30,000 feet, and I'm dropping bombs everywhere. California, she has a new single entitled Beyond Now. Now, this song was written by Thurman Meadows from Temple, Texas, and this song features Terry's uh, daughter, Christine Sims. And that'll be followed by my power group, Stray Company from Louisville, Kentucky. They didn't have a new single entitled Dreamers from their 2020 album AMG, Amazing Magnificent Godly. Now, this uh, album was debuted on episode 181. We had a few members uh, of the at Acapella, I'm sorry, Straight Company that was on that show with me. Uh, Jay Walk, the Rose, Gunsmithy, Eastside, and D Blow was on that broadcast. We had a good time on that show. And this song is also number two on my top 20 countdown show for the month of uh, July. Enjoy this double play, Terry Moore Mays and Straight Company. You got Stevie B on the ones and two. <laughs> Oh, Lord, plans to prosper. 
Orlando Tisdale, a.k.a. Mookie. This is Bruce. This is Demario. This is Cranston. This is Taurus. This is Jordan. We are Rain. And you're listening to. And you're listening. And you're listening to. And you are listening to. You are listening to Stevie B. Stevie B. Stevie B. You're listening to. Stevie B. Welcome. This is Garrick Edison of the Acapella Group, One Hope in Christ, straight out of Louisville, Kentucky. And you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast radio show. And he's dropping bombs. Oh, boom, boom. This is Yvonne Gooch, owner of Blazing Crackers, and I am a proud sponsor of Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Blazing Crackers, stay on fire. You need a treat. You're hungry. You need some meat. So you need a treat. You're hungry. Shout up hungry. Need some meat. Blazing crackers, B-L-A-Z-I-N crackers, yeah, B-L-A-Z-I-N crackers, yeah, B-L-A-Z-I-N crackers, yeah. Hey, this is John Poo Malone. And you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey. Is your congregation in need of lending for a building or expansion project? As your partner and advocate, Diversified Financial Network will take the time to understand your unique situation and develop a financing solution that meets your specific need. It's an exciting time for your congregation, and what you need is a company with expertise in church financing early in the process. Call us today at 1-866-513-6665 or visit us at www.diversifiedfinancegroup.com. This is the program reminder. Stevie B's Meat Production presents. We're airing live shows here on Blog Talk Radio. The telephone number to this live show is 713 955 
1-800-826-1408. And the website is www.blogtalkradio.com what was last gospel light radio show on the second tuesday of the month we are uh, i'm hosting a live show what a word from the lord radio show and that show will air from 6 to 8 p.m eastern standard time 5 to 7 p.m central standard time we will have a guest speaker from the brotherhood of the churches of christ who will be making their proclamation of the gospel of jesus christ and also during the show we have the community corner segment that segment is designed for small business and entrepreneurs who have products and services for our communities. Also, three co-hosts on that show, Luke Gilbert, he's the evangelist for the Park Church of Christ there in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and Isa Mullins, he serves the Church of Christ there in Cary, North Carolina. And then the fourth Tuesday of the month, my co-host Kelly Fletcher, she serves the Livingstone Church of Christ there in Indianapolis, Indiana. She has the Kelly Fletcher Show, and that show will air at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then on Thursday evening each week from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'll be hosting a live show, the Gospel Light Radio Show. And on that show, I have seven co-hosts who will be making their proclamation of the Gospel of Christ. And each week, I have two co-hosts on the air with me. I'm also taking a question from my social media platform on Facebook that I'll be posing to my one of my co-hosts from that shouted out platform. I want to encourage our listeners to get involved with that biblical that biblical discussion group there on Facebook called Shout It Out. And then on Friday night, I'm hosting the live show, Stevie B, Acapella Gospel Music Blast. That show airs from 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. And on this show, I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. We're also interviewing artists, producers, comedians, etc. We're also debuting new music on the show like we did on the show earlier tonight. And we're also featuring old music as well. And every third Friday of the month, I do my top 20 countdown show, which I haven't done that show in uh, since July because of everything that's going on with this concert tour. So hopefully I'll be able to do a show in this month, October. We should be able to do a show this month. And then I have my on-demand episodes. These are the various uh, musical platforms that you can go to and listen to these previous episodes that we've aired of the, on Blog Talk Radio. And you can find these shows with the various platforms some of the major platforms I like to highlight Spotify, iHeartRadio, Apple iTunes, Amazon Music, YouTube just to name a few. I also have recorded version shows as well. These shows were album debut shows mostly so the same playlist was used for the live show on Blog Talk Radio that I use on the recorded version shows and these shows can only be heard on iHeartRadio on Deezer and also on Amazon Music. Just search for Stevie B's recorded version shows. And we want to thank all of our sponsors who are sponsoring these radio shows. If you want to be a sponsor, contact my sponsorship manager, Michelle Marco, from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Her telephone number is 954-687-4705. The three E's of Stevie B. Peter Production. It is the objective of this broadcast. We want to educate, we want to edify, we want to encourage you in a study of God's Word. And that will conclude our program announcements. You're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Our what we got coming up next? My monthly triple spin is coming up next. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's monthly trip trip triple spin spin spin. For the month of September, we have been featuring George G from West Palm Beach, Florida. George G was on the show earlier tonight. They've been on some new music. You know, George sung with Street Company for, from Louisville, Kentucky for 19 years. He also sung with Aquila Vocal Band from Nashville, Tennessee for three years. And George has over 100 new songs that we're going to try to air here on this broadcast. So we have him scheduled for every fourth Friday of the month. I always look forward to talking to George D. You're going to love these singles from George D. These singles, Plot One, Just Another Time, and Joyful Noise. Enjoy my monthly triple spin for the month of September. Stevie B. Stevie B's monthly trip, trip, triple spin, spin, spin. I got my hand on the fly, and I won't let go. I got my hand on the fly, and I. Oh, 
Change plan. 
Texas, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Sustained friend, the late wife, Vaughn, the General Connor from Dayton, Ohio. We just want to keep her memory alive on this radio show. Stevie B's Old 100s. This week we are featuring in my Old 100s, the North Mississippi Acapella out of Hernando, Mississippi. Their single, Lord Build Me a Cabin. I just love this song from the album Free Spirit. Now to be followed by the Spiritual Nightingales Rebooted out of Houston, Texas. And this single, Pass Me Not. This is a new single from their 2020 album, The Spiritual Nightingales. We did an exclusive interview with Elmo Adams Jr. on this broadcast, episode 205. If you didn't get a chance to hear that show, now that brother brought me to tears. Now, you know I'm a waterhead. He brought me to tears on that show. Enjoy my old 100. Stevie B's Old 100s Many years I've been looking For a place to call home But I fell here to find it So I must travel along I don't care if I'm mentioned On earth sinking sand Lord, give me a cabin in the corner of Blurred Land. Bless the Lord, I'm not asking to live in the midst. For I know I'm not worthy of such splendor as this. But I'm asking for mercy while humbly I stand. Lord, build me. A cavern in the corner of the red land. He has built me just a cavern, daughter, in the corner of the red land. In the shade of the tree of life that in me ever stand. Where I can just 
like any other man. Cried out, Savior, Lord, don't you pass your child by. Cried out with a loud voice, I heard him say, Savior, loving, loving, say. a.k.a. Uncle Black from the West Coast Boys representing California. Sitting in the lab, the sweat box, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. You make things, you know. I, I'm a recovering drug addict, alcoholic. I've had I've had 32 years without a drink. Or a, you know, a so. I've been married 33 years. So after a year of marriage, I realized it was one or the other, and I made a decision to quit. Now Tammy has had closet vision for 33 years, and it's one of those things that drives me crazy as a husband. But she won't do anything to correct it. And now you tell me, this is closet vision for 33 years. This is how our, we have a date to go out. Tammy will get in the shower, get out of the shower. She'll wrap herself in a towel. She'll stand in front of her mirror. She'll do her hair, do her makeup. 
and then she'll walk into her closet and go blind for an hour. <laughs> All I hear coming out of the closet, there's nothing to wear. Nothing, nothing. Every now and then she'll emerge holding something. What do you think of that? And I'll say, you'll look beautiful in that. She'll go, you're just saying that. You're right, I am. I don't care. Put on burlap. Let's just get to the restaurant before they change management one more time. I just... <laughs> And I was thinking about it. This has got to go back to the Garden of Eden. It really does. It says in the Bible, Adam and Eve sinned for the first time. And it was the first time they felt shame. Shame of their nakedness. And they felt if they could clothe themselves, they could hide their shame from God. It was the first time mankind clothed themselves. So you know Adam got dressed right away. <laughs> first leaf on the ground, poof, I'm ready, let's go. Eve probably shot that garden three, four days, never found anything. Just walking around. I don't know what he expects us to wear. There's nothing to wear around here. Adam's going, try the fig. Nobody wears a fig after September, you idiot. <laughs> try the fern. The fern makes me look fat. Don't you have an animal to name? Get out of here. It's amazing how quick Tammy's vision would come back when she was dressed because she'd leave the closet, look at me, and go, ooh, you're not wearing those clothes out, are you? No, these are my practice clothes. They went out of style while I was waiting for you to get dressed. <laughs> I mentioned my grandbabies. I am a grandfather, and anybody, anybody here that's a grandparent knows those are the most special, special people on the planet. They really are. And they're the most heartwarming. And I can tell you where I was and what time of day it was when my granddaughter, the first grandchild we had, said my name, Papa. She was in the bathtub. We were watching her. She was at the house, and she was splashing around in the tub in the early evening. And my wife calls me into the bathroom. She says, you got to hear this. And my little granddaughter's sitting there, and Tammy says, Evelyn, who is that? And Evelyn goes, Papa. I'm telling you, man. I started crying. And that's what Tammy said. You need to get a blood test for that low T stuff. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. She says, you need to go get tested for low T. And I said, uh, it's all right. I honored my wife. That's what you do. You honor your wife. I got tested, blood test. Anyway, they call me up and they go, you don't have low T. I go, I don't. He goes, no, you have no T, none, zero. <laughs> we had to retest you. It was so low. They told me I was elevated in estrogen. I had high estrogen levels and no testosterone, which explained all the HGTV I had been watching. <laughs> yeah, my friends would call me on Sunday. Hey, man, the bears are on. I'd go, no way, man. Chip and Joanna got a special. <laughs> So I said to the doctor, if I do this tea thing, if I do this tea thing, what will it do for me? And he said, you'll be like a 25-year-old man again. I went, really? Will I be that stupid? Because <laughs> I got to tell you, I don't think my body could survive my 20s again. I really don't. <laughs> he says, no, you'll be like a 25-year-old. And I go, really? I got a 58-year-old menopausal wife at home. Think I should consult her to see if she wants a 25-year-old man chasing her around? <laughs> She finally put a knife in my chest and ended. I know she was. <laughs> the next thing you know, she's on Dateline trying to defend herself. <laughs> you ever watch Dateline? I'm telling you. The whole franchise, the spouse is killing each other. That's it. <laughs> men, men, watch five Datelines with your wife. You'll look her right in the eye. We doing all right, you and me? <laughs> I'm telling you, that menopause, I didn't see it coming. I really did. There are nights that I lie in bed and dream about the good old days of PMS. Trust me. <laughs> there are weeks that go by. I cannot get our home cold enough for her body. I'm telling you, there's not enough Freon in the world. If there's a hole in the ozone, it's over the roof of my home in Tennessee. It's 48 degrees in my bedroom. I got meat hanging off my curtain rods. She walks in and turns on some 64-bladed fan she installed. I had to bolt the furniture to the floor to keep them getting sucked up through the roof. She stands in the middle of the room. Why is it so hot in here, Jeffrey? Why is it so hot? I can't see her because of the fog that's coming out of her mouth. And then she wakes me up to feel her night sweats. Is that even necessary? I'm sound asleep when she zips my parka open while I'm laying there. 
Wake up and feel this, Jeffrey. It's disgusting. Look at me. There's like a furnace in me or something. You're lucky you don't have to go through this. You know, I wouldn't if you'd quit waking me up and telling me about it. I could sleep right through the perspirating. I could. Doesn't make a lot of noise. Oh, and one night I wake up, there's a human being at the foot of my bed. Three o'clock in the morning. I don't know if you've ever had this. There's a full-grown human in three in a dark room. Ah, I was ah, I was had a heart attack. It was her. She's at the foot of my bed, just cutting off the bottom of her flannel pajamas with scissors. Because they were sticking to her sweaty legs. And this demonic thing was coming out of her mouth. <laughs> Kid, I grabbed my sons the next day. He said, Mom's going through some serious stuff here. <laughs> like what? Remember those nights you didn't do your homework? She'd get mad and yell at you real loud. He goes, ah, I remember that. This is different. She might be crying and then stab you. <laughs> you guys have been great. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Stevie B's Funny Bones. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I hope you're enjoying the flight tonight on the blast. I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. We're flying 30,000 feet, and I'm dropping bombs everywhere. family. It's your boy, George G, a.k.a. George G International, G-G-I-G to the double E. You're listening to the phenomenal sounds of acapella gospel music blast where the bass note bumps and the E note jumps and the sopranos and the altos and the tenors make you sway. Oh, yeah, it's a head knocker, baby, and a rock and cheer rocker acapella gospel music blast. Your host, Stevie B, spinning the voices that soothe the soul, flying at 30,000 feet, not missing a beat. Acapella, gospel, music blast. Stevie B's Song of the Week. We'll be dedicating this feature to my dear sister and friend, the late Linda Dilly from Tulsa, Oklahoma. She was a member of my staff here at Stevie B's Mid Production from the year 2016 to June of 2021. She wrote all the questions for the artists that we interviewed on this radio show. We just want to keep her memory alive on this radio broadcast. Stevie B's Song of the Week. This week we are featuring Cornelius the Strong Edwards from Galveston, Texas. We did two exclusive interviews with Cornelius on this broadcast, episode number 11 and episode 184. We have a new single from Cornelius, Wash by the Blood of Jesus. Enjoy my song of the week. Stevie B's Song of the Week. Wipe away 
That's episode number 176. And my special guest on that show was two of the original members of the Soul Influence, Marcus Bonham and Monte Cuba, both from Houston, Texas. Enjoy this double play, a cappella, and the Soul Influence. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. <laughs> Somebody gotta take a stand. Somebody needs to 
Baldwin from Greensboro, North Carolina. This is Dodge Burnett coming from Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey, this is Teray Mack out of Jacksonville, Florida, representing Duval. We are the one and only Testament Acapella, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Music Blast. With you is where I want to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Well, ladies and gentlemen, according to the clock on the wall, it's time for me to bring this big iron bird on down to the ground. I need to bring it on down. I need to bring it on down.
right, that's we got this big hand bird safely on the ground. This is the part of the show where I have to say good night. I got to go. <laughs> I really enjoy playing these inspirational songs and tickling your funny moment. I want to thank my special guest on the show tonight, George G from West Palm Beach, Florida. We debuted two of his new singles on the show tonight. I also want to thank my listeners for riding with me on the blast tonight and also giving my, some feedback for uh, that song, those songs by George G, those new singles. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot deny what you're on the blast on a Friday night. I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. But I want to thank most of all the God of heaven through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for allowing me the privilege. And it is indeed a privilege, baby, to spend this time with you on a Friday night. So until we meet again, may God continue to bless your lives. It may bless you real Real good. You've been listening to Stevie B's Acapello Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Taking us on off the show, I have two singles. Uh, oh, let me hit you with three pieces first before I do that. No, let me tell you who the two singles are. <laughs> let me give you my two singles. Let me hit you with three pieces before I get on the body here. We got a single by the Mario Brothers featuring Mario McKinnon from Charlotte, North Carolina. The single, My Life, in the 2015 album, The Mario Brothers. You're going to love that song. From the, we did an exclusive interview with Mario on this broadcast, episode 175. Great show. Really enjoyed talking to Mario on that broadcast. And that'll be followed by Shady Kakaris out of Houston, Texas. They have a new single entitled Sounds of Love. You're going to love this song. The 2020 EP, Surrounded by Love, featuring Frank Melton III, formerly of the Melody Airs. Now let me hit you with three pieces before I get on up out of here. Peace, peace, peace. <laughs> and I'll see you, Lord Say So, on the other side. Good night, everybody. I'm Stevie B, and I'm out. My life, my life, my life. I give my life to you. Find my way Lord, I know you hear my cry And I know you will never forsake me Since I came up out that water, the devil's been tempting me I know the Bible says in James who resist the man he will flee Lord, I'm so far away, I feel I'm out of your reach Please open up my eyes so that I can see Lord, I can't make it on my own I need you, Jesus Please, God, be home Here's my life Please make it right Lord, I offer up my life Yeah, I give my life Over to you, Jesus Yeah my life to you, Lord. So many times I've been struggling, struggling, need strength where I'm weak and weak. This life is too hard for me. Guess I better start seeking. Without you, Lord, I can't make it. Can't make it. It's pain that I feel I can't take it. I'm on my knees, yeah, asking to live me. Not the 
let you move this mountain But give me the strength I need To climb higher and higher To my provider Lord, I tried it by myself But in the end, I need your help Here is my life Just make it right I give it over to you, Jesus. I give it over to you, Lord. I give it over to you, Jesus. My life, my life. I give it over to you, Jesus. I give it over to you, Lord. I give it over to you, Jesus. My life, my life. Bye. 